This video was created in partnership with Franke Kitchen Systems. Hey guys, Chef Billy Parisi here. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. And today it is Dynamite with this cinnamon and sugar apple fritters recipe. The first thing we need to do is make the batter for the apple fritters. And it's very, very easy to do. We're going to combine some all-purpose flour with some sugar, of course, for sweetness and baking powder, which is going to help make our fritters very fluffy and light and obviously raise really nicely. We're going to season it up with a little bit of salt. All batter should be seasoned with salt, by the way. And the next thing we're going to do is using a whisk, we're going to mix the ingredients together. This isn't just so the ingredients combine, it's also to help break up any clumps. We're next going to mix our wet ingredients in a separate bowl. So go ahead and add some eggs along with some whole milk and using a whisk we want to whisk that together until it is combined and you do this in a separate bowl so that the egg yolk can incorporate or unless you try to put this right into the dry ingredients you spend most of your time trying to whisk the egg and make sure it's incorporated so it's best to do it in a separate bowl now what we're going to do is pour it right into our dry ingredients and give it a good mix you can absolutely use a spoon at this point because the batter is incredibly thick and it does get a little bit hard to stir. You can do it with a whisk, but just know that you can do it with a spoon as well. The next thing we're going to do is give our apples a little bit of a rinse. So I'm going to roll out my Franke roller mat, which we absolutely love and use on a daily basis for drying dishes as a hot pad to keep our countertops safe. And in this case, as a colander. And with the Franke hose, it just makes things so easy to wash every little square centimeter off of the vegetables and produce. So at this point, once they are nice and rinsed off, I'm going to peel uh, my apples. And I'm using a combination of sweet and sour. So my red apples are Gala apples, but you can absolutely use things like Fuji or Honeycrisp. Uh, I really like the combination. And Granny Smith, of course, being the more sour apple, really makes it for a nice balance of flavors in the apple fritters. So I'm going to go ahead and push everything down into the drain before turning on the sink and turning on my Franke garbage disposer. And I always say this thing could power a boat. It's amazingly strong and it's wonderful. Now what we're going to do is take our apples back over to the cutting board and we want to small dice them. But first, we want to slice around the core to simply remove the core and get as much apple off as possible. As you can see, I use the flat part down on the cutting board so that the apple doesn't rock to keep my fingers safe. And this is just a really old sort of culinary trick that when you have round items that need cutting and slicing, it's great to use a flat part to help balance it out. And once all of the apples are trimmed from the core, just remove the core, no big deal. And we wanna small dice them. So first you slice long ways until they're little match sticks. And next you slice crosswise again until they're a nice small dice. You wanna keep these small because these apple fritters are small. They're not gigantic donuts like maybe you've seen at a donut shop. And the next thing we're gonna do is squeeze in a lemon juice for some flavor and to help preserve the color of our lemons followed up by adding in some ground cinnamon and for a little bit of savoriness, some ground nutmeg. Now we're going to completely mix this together, make sure the cinnamon is incorporated to all of the apples on all sides. And what we're gonna do is fold this right into our batter. So scrape all of those delicious apples, try not to eat too many before they make it into the batter and using your spoon, fold it in. Again, the batter is thick, so this might take a minute or two just to make sure it's completely incorporated into the batter. But once it is combined, uh, you'll notice that um, it actually loosens up a little bit. We're going to go over to the stove top and now it's time to fry. I'm going to pour in some canola oil. You can absolutely use vegetable oil or another frying oil that you like. I wouldn't use olive oil, it's a little bit too strong. Canola is nice and neutral, has a high smoking point. So using a spoon, go ahead and drop little dollops of the batter right into the oil. I do about six to eight at a time, and this keeps them from coming together if it's too overly crowded. And then using a slotted spoon, I sort of kind of 
poke them around and prod them around and, and make sure they're golden brown on all sides. And that's the main point is to make sure they're completely cooked through and golden brown. They will get a very nice brown on them when they are done. Absolutely gorgeous. And what you want to do is using that slotted spoon, strain them or into a bowl and you can absolutely put them onto a towel if you want to drain a little bit more grease off of them. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you why in a second. And if you want to make sure, just crack one of them open and take a look inside. If the dough is a little bit wet, that means you're not done. So here's why I'm keeping it wet. I'm going to add in a little bit of sugar, followed up by some ground cinnamon and I'm going to give it a couple tosses. Now I find if there's still a little bit of oil left on these fritters, this stuff sticks a little bit better than if I dry them out on a paper towel, but no big deal. It's now time to plate up, so I'm gonna add a few of these little guys over to a small plate and to make it extra delicious, and why not, of course. I'm gonna take a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream and put that right on top, followed up by drizzling on some honey that is gonna go so incredibly well with not only the ice cream and of course the apple fritters. That dough goes so great with honey and the cinnamon and sugar. These are amazing, so easy, so delicious. If you want an unbelievable dessert for friends and family, this is absolutely a go-to. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out more great recipes over on my site at billyparisi.com.